Welcome back to South Tonight in the Silver Springs Moran Hotel in Cork City. My next guest is a young Cork singer whose musical idols include the Dubliners, Paddy Riley, Liam Clancy, Tommy Maycomb. And now with the launch of his own debut album called City by the Lee, he is set to follow in their footsteps. He is Roy Buckley and he joins me now. Hello, Roy. Hi, Martina. How are you? Very good, thank you. Now, you're 22 years of age and uh, it's Quite unusual for a lad of your age to be interested in this kind of music. All the old <laughs> Irish superstars. It really is. I think. So how really are you drawn is. to it? It was just always my family. You just grew up with it all the time, and um, any time there was ever any function or event anywhere, like not just with my family, it was there was always a sing song would start, and I was always called to sing or <laughs> they'd sing. You know, so I, I just grew up. I've two uncles as well who play, and it was just always going to. There for me, like since I was a kid. And those kind of songs always work well in sing songs. Always, more um, than any other folk songs, songs, really. Yeah, yeah. Seems to kind of, but it's not that I don't have interest in any other type of music or anything. It's just Irish music was always my, uh, yeah. my my thing, you know. And Ronnie Drew was one of your idols, and Ronnie, Ronnie was a legend. You got it? to yeah. go to his funeral. I did, I did. We went up with um, myself, George Murphy, and the Black Don. We we all went together. We have the same management, so we went to um, we all went together. Mm. It was great. Um, he got a, a great setting off. Everybody from Phil Coulter to you know, news readers like from Martina, every, mm. everybody was there. Um, we Very were, poignant experience. I well, we went back to the Ritz Carlton Hotel in Enniskerry, uh, as you know, Rodney was living in Wicklow at the time. So we went back to uh, the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and uh, there was just a stage set up, and everybody sang. The main MC started, and McCann from Stockton's Wing went on, and Shane McGowan went up. Myself, I went on. George Murphy went on. It was great, it was just, you know, it was, really, it was like a concert more than a funeral, you know. Mm. But um, to meet all these, all yeah. these idols, like, it, was, it was great, you know. Right, very special, I'd imagine. Oh, it was great. Now, you've been in demand for gigs all over the place yourself, and, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> would, would you think it's maybe easier to make break in this business, considering the, the musical style you're pursuing, rather than rock or indie, that maybe there's that tens of does. thousands of bands out there trying to do the same thing? Um, I, I think people are, are very fast to judge a, a new... Um, I know Irish folk singer, I think, as well, you know. Um, but is that because does, you've got big steps, you know, big feet to follow? Well, there is, like, especially when, it, when when all these guys are at it. Like Liam Clancy, you know, he, he played in the Opera House recently. Like, when, when you have the likes of these guys doing it 50 years, yeah. and then, you know, you, that's a big shoe to, to fill, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, um, but at the same time, I suppose, you know, we've lost a lot of those big stars. That's true. Even, so even, it's good that someone like you is coming along to kind of fill the gap that's left. Well, I, I, I just like to see it happen again. I'd like to see another folk revolution, you know, I, I think with Joe and Soon anyway. Like, mm. And you, when you have the likes of George Murphy and Damon Dempsey and all these people doing new albums yeah. with all these great songs yeah. again, it's, it's fantastic, I, I think. And a memorable performance for you would be at Parky Creek for a county final <laughs> and you got to sing the national anthem. I was asked to sing the national anthem when uh, I think I was 18 that time. Yeah, so that's about three true or four years, years back. And uh, oh, it was great. It was 35 and 40,000 people there, you know, yeah. it was fantastic. Massive. Yeah. And you, you sung at Turner's Cross as well for the soccer crowd? I have. That was only a few months back. It was Cork City against the uh, Bohemians. It was kind of a top of the table flash. It was great. That was full house as well, five thousand people. So yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was great to do these things. You yeah. Know? Well, it it gives you the chance to do the big audience, and That's great. and then also, of course, this kind of music works in the more intimate surroundings as well. Yeah, yeah. It does yeah. definitely. It definitely does definitely work in um, in more intimate. Yeah. Big time, yeah. So the debut album is out, City by the Lee, City by I love Lee. the title, and um, tell me about the recording of that, because it, it took a while between one thing and another. Over over two years, I think, it was, um, I recorded it in Dublin in Ashtown Studios, and uh, it, it was, I think it's just because it was in Dublin too, and you're up and down, and that, it might, it might have took so long, but um, it was great, because I got to work with the Black Donnellys and for three uh, collaborations on the album, and uh, George Murphy did a, a, a guest appearance with me on um, mm. School Days Over, that song. And uh, oh, it, it was great to kind of work with all these guys, you know, mm, as yeah. well. And uh, it turned out great. I'm really, very really happy with the album, you know, really, really happy. Like, it turned out better than I thought it would have turned out, you know. So, um, and, and George Murphy, of course, was a contestant on Eurostar a couple of years was, ago. He was, he was. Yeah. And, um, you know, people were probably surprised at that stage that he was going down that kind of musical route as well. But his voice really suited it. And yeah. the same is true of you, you know. Well, I think when George was on your star, it was it was when your star was better. I think, and I won't say good. Well, it's yeah. axed now, anyway. Is it gone? Mm, I think so, as far as I know. But um, that was when Phil Coulter and Louis Walsh were, were judges, you know, and then it kind of 
it kind of went off the boil after that. I think mm. you know, it didn't, mm. it wasn't as. Um, it was more about the showbiz and the panel. You know, that kind of thing, you know. Thing, yeah. Trying to turn the X factor, I think, but yeah, yeah. I don't think it worked. You but had the launch of your your album anyway recently as well in the Half Moon Club. I was there that rock, night. Yeah. I know, I didn't know. And it was a great night, and uh, your mum and dad were there for the whole proud lot, yeah. of you, the whole family. <laughs> Uh, it was it was um, it was nearly full house. There was yeah. just a couple off full house. It was it was great, real real great turnout. Yeah. And as you know, the Black Donnellys were with me on the night and that. So sure. that was a great buzz. I really enjoy that, you yeah. know. Yeah. So um, good stuff. Well, we're going to hear a song from the album now. If you wouldn't no mind playing us the tune, the title track of the album, I believe, is it? Yeah, I will do the title track. Yeah. Into the City by the Lee. City by the Lee. So Roy's going to just get the guitar ready there. This is Roy Buckley <laughs> South tonight. <laughs> It's different here from anything that you would believe. You promised me you'd follow, but I knew you'd never leave. I have everything I thought I wanted, and you wanted to. That's why my home is here now. Instead of there with you Won't you take this letter in your hand And try to take the time to understand Place where I belong, city by the lake. I know I said I would return, I really thought I would. But days turned into months and years as quickly as they could. I had to go with nothing left for any man to do. I wish that you were here with me. That's all I can do. Take this letter. I wonder if I'll ever get, ever get to see the place where I belong, the city by the lake. So take this letter. Place where I belong, the city by the lake. Place where I belong, the city by the lake. Place where I belong, the city by the lake. Fantastic. Cheers.
City by the Lee, that is Roy Buckley and a very appropriate end as well with a, a title like that for our last Lee side shows uh, of the week. But uh, Roy, thanks for very, very much no for problem. joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. And I know there's gigs coming up. If people want to find out, um, they can check out your Bebo site for the moment. The best off to check my, my band page on Bebo. I up there quite, yeah. quite, uh, quite regularly. Which is www.roybuckleyfolksinger.bebo.com. That's right. the one. And there's a website proper on the way as well yeah it's, uh, it's almost finished it's uh, roybuckleyfolksinger.com as well okay. so, so that should that be out. up and running soon thanks very much no Roy problem, best of luck with everything and including the album right then that is the last of our shows from the Silver Springs Moran Hotel in Cork uh, we've had a great time here during the week my thanks to all the great guests that have dropped by and indeed to the hotel for having us here as well now we're staying in Cork County for next week we're heading to Glanworth in Formoy hope you're going to be able to join us then for another great week of shows at 7, Monday to Friday, here on Channel South. For the moment, though, have a great weekend. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. We'll leave you with the weather.